Hey my people, what's going on? This is Major Tuna with Major TV. Let's talk. I want to talk about two things. The first I want to talk about is the my Arbery case. Greg and Travis McMichaels trial. You know the jury begin selection Monday. I'll be giving you updates and what have you, but I have to definitely make notice and I need to speak about this because it's been reminding me. I won't lie, reminding me that black media haven't been talking about a mu um as much and um uh not at all really. But I'm gonna say this first and foremost. I do have to credit the black brothers that went in front of McMichael's home on the man in the arrest and justice for my Aubrey that they stood tall, they stood brave, they stood strong. This is before we even knew about Jim Jim, before we even knew about NFAC. Um, there are names of people that was associated with it, um, along with Jim J, um, and it was different organizations, right? Um, black militia organizations that went out there speaking up and standing up. We have to definitely salute them and acknowledge them. So I, don't, I have to get that out the way. We have to understand that the reason why this case has gotten as far as it gotten because of what these brothers did along with along with the grassroots movement at the bottom um, of people that was also pushing NAACP, um, uh, my Aubrey mom and family. I met Swinties personally when I went down in Georgia and, and um, covered hanging debt. And I mixed big, big, big text too. He was also a part of it, whatnot. And um, I have to just say this. It was a serious push, but you gotta give attention to the brothers that went down there and sisters and who brought national attention. Somebody recording it and then revealing the social media that went viral. We cannot forget these brothers and the attention they brought to my Aubrey situation. Along with the fact we have to be mindful that in fact, came into um, the light to everybody about why it was started, who started it, and for a reason. And we know about Stone Mountain. We know about Louisville. We know about Lafayette, Louisiana. We know about what these brothers and sisters was doing. Shout out to Grandmaster J for um leading that in charge as well as informing the people um about everything. A lot of cases that was just arising that was coming before him. He was dressing to the people and what have you and encouraging that we stand up we size our second amendment or we size our first amendment to become legally um he addressed the situation with ex-felons and so forth and so on. But I definitely have to say this. Shouts out to the brothers and sisters that stood up. Because this had been happening months ago. And when they surfaced. And how this DA who are now indicted for not charging the father. Because they, she worked for the sheriff department. That's kind of some kind of um, friendship with with him. That now her whole career is up. I mean, she lost her whole career. Shout out to them. So I definitely want to recognize, and I definitely, um, I, I'm definitely gonna do better in reference to acknowledging and pushing things that we know the media won't push. So in saying that, I want to also give you an update on Jim J case. Um, I seen also talk black to me radio um podcast too. And uh, I'm just kinda gonna touch upon that somewhat. I've talked to Jim J throughout the week. He called me, you know, and informed me about the situation and what have you and how 
um, how he didn't show up for the morning on um, apartment, but later on at 4:30, it was where it was the man. The court demanded that he show up because he had somebody sent in for him, right? And they were expecting a setback, but no, the judge was like, "Hey, this dude better be here by 4:30." He wasn't trying to hear it, right? Well, I talked the next day, and he let me know what was going on, and that um, the motion suppress other crime evidence was granted, and um, that's what it was. Other crime evidence they were trying to introduce in regards to his past, whether it was domestic, military, what have you. And um, it's been a controversial that when DA suggests this, they generally try to say, well. If he was arrested for some, a violent crime or on robbery, I'm gonna try to shoot things you did like an on robbery or something like that where you was arrested, convicted for, right? And um, they show you a bad character, show more operands of, of intent and, and so forth, so on, right? And um, but the problem with that, it can be highly prejudicial because it's not something you did currently. In some cases, people wasn't even convicted for them crimes. It's considered very high, highly prejudicial. So it's threading a thin line when they consider doing that. But his lawyer did file for that not be used because it wasn't relevant. It was only to try to um, place pressure on his case and what have you. The show he was a bad person or whatnot. That was definitely um, grand. That that was that was a, a, a big win. Um, we also know about the state indicting him and what have you. So they still pursuing Jim J. He's not out the hot water, but what it says is this, the evidence that was, was, was the, the fastest, the evidence that's on fast said is not admissible. That's good news, right? So it's all about showing what his intent was when this lad he pointed a gun, flashlight at the roof of these officers and whatnot. Um, they will be hard to show the intent. Gonna probably try, like I said, they can't use certain things, so. It's going to be hard to show the intent. Same for the state. Of course, I believe, hands down, the state has nothing on the fast in reference to how you go about prosecuting. So I don't know what's going on. But they're definitely trying to um, get at him. Um, you know, as this case drag out and what have you, there's, um, there's um, costs and whatnot that may be associated with it. I don't know. I don't ask. I don't know what's going on. But I know um, the donations could be worried and helpful for him. But I know one thing, that he's fighting them, and that that's important because you definitely want to strip the case of it. Excuse me. You definitely want to strip the state of any evidence they may use that can hurt you. That's that's so important. The series of motions that he filed, you know, is is great. You gotta keep your own. Um, you gotta keep your foot in the pedal. You gotta press it because just like they come at him relentless, he should respond relentlessly, and that's what he's been doing called me speaking to him. He did tell me he's gonna do a press release and release to people um in black media and what have you. And he's gonna let um all of us know what's going on. But I just wanted to touch upon this because I did talk with him what have you and um I listened to um, talk black and radio what have you stuff he revealed. I'm definitely agreeing totally he was talking about what's going on. I'm gonna just say this people. Um GMJ is example of what they have been doing our people that stand up and speak out. What's going on with Brother Ramzu Giannis in Detroit, Michigan is another example of that. We have to support these people. We have to donate, we have to speak up, and we have to continue doing what they've been doing. A lot of us have laid dormant because of what happened to Jim Brother Jim J that we don't talk about nothing else. We don't really get to nothing else. And I feel like we still could help him and also make him proud of us by us doing our part in the community. The job is not over, y'all. So I just wanted to just share that with you. It was just something that ran across my mind. Um, to do, to actually just let y'all know what's going on. I've been kind of waiting to the last minute. And definitely I want to hear what he had to say, how he feel. Because I know he's about his case with that. But I know the whole time that um, this has been going on. He been telling me things here and then. I just been waiting till the last minute. But yes, he did win this motion. There's a lot of fighting to do. 
So y'all thank you for reco- thank you for listening to recording. Y'all stay focused, stay up cold, just be black. Peace. This is Major TV and this is brought to you by Major. Yo. Like and subscribe to get your notifications. Couldn't do it without you need your full participation. Uh-huh. And we give it back to the show. Appreciation. Uh-huh.